Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 25th of November 2025. I'm going to play a final game for today, a third game of uh, Sudoku for you because I just realized that tomorrow morning I'm out to work very early in the morning and there's no chance of me getting in any games until the afternoon. So uh, I am going to play this one which will be something to um, tide you over until tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I often complain, as most people do, about the red tape in Bangkok. Uh, bureaucracy uh, is it's crazy sometimes about paperwork that you need for this and that. It really drives people nuts. Um, but <laughs> actually, maybe it's a good thing. It seems to have saved somebody's life. Um, how, is that, how has that happened, you wonder? Well, uh, according to a story in the, the Associated Press... Um, uh, a man uh, who had been looking after his sister, I think that was, um, who had been uh, bedridden for a long time, well, he thought that she was dead. She stopped breathing, became completely unresponsive. Uh, and this was in the uh, province of Pitsanulok. And uh, she... Uh, he uh, stuck her in, <laughs> he stuck her in a coffin. I'm laughing. Don't worry. It has a reasonably good ending. Stuck her in a coffin. Took her to uh, Bangkok because uh, she had wanted to donate her organs um, to a hospital. And uh, when he got there, they said you don't have a death certificate, so we can't uh, accept them. Uh, he doesn't seem to have much money, and there was a, a temple offering free cremation service, so he took them to. He took her body as he believed it to the temple for free cremation and they also said they can't do anything unless you've until you've got a death certificate so uh, the, while he was about to go off and look for a, uh, apply for a death certificate there was a knocking on the coffin and uh, in fact uh, his sister was still alive and they opened the coffin and they got her to hospital and uh, she is apparently Covering, although I don't know how much uh, she will recover. Um, I'm not quite sure. She was obviously very sick for a long time anyway. Um, so there you are. A bit of paperwork saved a life there. <laughs> and uh, uh, I can imagine, you know, Thai people, Thai culture, it still believes in ghosts. Uh, ghosts play a big part. And, you know, they tell lots and lots of stories about ghosts and coffins and <laughs> stuff like this. I can imagine this story is going to run and run. It seems like it could be a, a Thai perennial uh, tale. Um, anyway, it has a, a good ending, I guess. Um, she has survived and uh, no need to donate your organs. I, I'm think I'm 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 going to apply for this myself. I've I've been meaning to do this for ages. That I want to uh, give my body to uh, the hospital um, for educational purposes. I mean, uh, God knows what they'll do if they cut me open. <laughs> it depends on how I am when I'm at my end, right? I mean, I don't know if they'll laugh and say, "Good God, look at this." Um, but uh, or they'll just uh, I don't know what they'll do. But I, I you know, I, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in life after death in any sense. I don't you know, the body is just an empty vessel as, as I see it. Um, the only thing is I need to kind of get approval from my loved ones. I think that's an important thing. I wouldn't do it uh, before getting kind of permission from them because I think uh, it's, death is about the people that are left rather than the, the person that dies, if you know what I mean. Shall we get on with our game of Sudoku? This is our uh, thingamabob, Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle. Let's start with digit fives blocking across there and giving us a five in that square there. We have four and six blocking up here immediately, so we've got a pair of four and six in those squares. This then, one blocks across here, that's got to be the one. This is four and six, so this just leaves nine, that leaves nine for that square there. Nine blocks across there, across there, and nine blocks up here. Nine blocks down, nine blocks up, nine goes in that little hole there. Four 
one blocks down here, down there, and across there. One across this way, blocking across this way, one blocking down here. There's a digit one. I've spotted three and seven in this row, and I do be I believe we are missing three and seven down here. Oh, great, we've got another three blocking there. So that's the three, and that's the seven. And this will be what I thought I was going to find first of all, an eight. That's what I planned to find first, the eight, but I managed to find something else instead. Two and eight block across here. That means we've got a pair of two and eight in those squares there and in fact that's going to give us twos down there because we've got two blocking there and there so that's a pair of twos down there we've also got twos there so twos ah okay all right <clears throat> okay let's just uh, work this out for you two blocks here two blocks there so you will agree in this column twos are there two blocks down here so twos are there and there right that means that in this section over here two can only appear in one of these three squares. Now we've got two blocking down here, so that one's out. Two blocking down here, so that one's out. So that's the only place where a two can appear. <coughs> six blocks this square here, that's a six up there. This will be a four to finish the column. nine blocks both of those squares we need a nine in this row it goes there missing numbers here are four no they're not six and eight i should say six and eight so three's there three's there three's there three blocking across here across here and down there that's a three Two blocks across here like this, so two is in one of those squares blocking across. That gives us two in that square. Missing digits in this row are six and nine, I think. And so we've got ones in those squares. Five, okay, five blocking up here, five blocking across there. There's a five. Okay, so this is one and seven in those squares there. And that doesn't really give me much, but seems to work out, seems to fit the bill. Okay, I'm running out of ideas now, so I think it's probably time to walk through slowly. Two and six are in this block, and we don't have two or six in this row yet, so that has to be two and six there. And that's going to make these numbers here four and one. And so these numbers here are three and eight. And that doesn't give it to me. All right, back again. This is six and two, so these numbers are three uh, and four okay so this is a pair of three and four look we got three four here three four there so this is six and two this is three and four and this is not those this is seven and eight so that means eight blocks across here eight blocks across here that's the eight and we already know that this is I've forgotten already <laughs> 
it doesn't matter three blocks across there there we go three in that square there three blocking down here across there and across there I was going to say we have our first number. We don't. We do now because threes are up here. There we go. That's got to be the last three. Uh, yeah. And we can just find the missing number here, which is four, I think. And then this will be six. Six blocks this square. So that's the six in this row. And nine finishes the row, if memory serves me correctly. Nine blocks down here, nine blocks across there. There is a nine. Uh, what now? I can get this because the missing digits here are two and four. Four, in fact, blocks across there. So that's the four and that's the two. And the last number that we can get here, as I said, is eight. Eight blocks across here. Oh, we need eight in this one of these two squares in this row. Eight blocks down there. There's the eight. And the last number to get here is six. Now we can resume our trudging through diligently. I said before twos are in those squares, if you remember, we got two blocking there, two blocking there, two blocking there. That is our two. Three, we've got four. Four it has to be one of these empty squares here blocking across, four blocking up here, four blocking up there. There's a four. Uh, six blocks this square, six blocks this square, excuse me. Six blocks this square, six blocks this square. So in this column, there's our six. Six blocking across there, up here. This link. I think this game has not left enough room for a logic puzzle. I think we are going to be able to complete this without any real difficulty. Seven blocks down here, there's a seven, there's a five, which is good for me today because I am feeling rather tired having worked today. trying to get your sympathy for ha actually having to do some work. Of course, most people work much more than me. I'm blocking up here. There's our digit one. The last number to go there is a four. Uh, ones now. Where do we need a one? There we go. One blocking across there. There's our digit one. That's the last one to place. Seven goes in here. <coughs> Five blocks down here, across there, there's five, the last number to place across this row. Six, I think it is. Okay, and six blocking up here and up there gives us six in that square and a two over here, if I remember. Two blocking down here, two across there, there is our two, that's finished. Oh, the only numbers we need now are seven, eight, and nine. I see a seven, I see a nine, that's got to be an eight. Eight blocks up there, there's our eight, and eight blocking down gives us eight there. Eight and nine here, this must be a seven. There's one empty square, we need a seven. Seven blocks down here, that's a seven. And nine finishes the game, that's our easy level, no, <laughs> expert level puzzle, but it just happened to be easy. Uh, game from the Los Angeles Times. Thank you for joining me. Uh, it's going to be quite a while to the next game, but um, so play slowly. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye.